and just cut to the chase for us. If it's possible for a robot to drive a car, if it's possible for an AI model to drive a car, like the new Tesla full self-driving, do you not imagine it eventually being possible for an intuitive surgical robot to perform some surgical procedures on a real human being? And so the question is, is when can an intuitive, when can intuitive surgical system be able to do, to perform art? Because it's not just a standard approach to doing everything. There's a lot that goes into it. And I'm not saying that a computer can't be smarter than a human. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it. the main argument I'm having for this is the data is not there. So the data, data for the artificially intelligent robot to be able to do it is not there. And so that is the starting point that I think potentially, I don't think he's alluding to that, but I think that being able to develop that computational power or an actual robotic system to perform even a part of the surgery, the data is not there. They have to get a lot of videos to being able to do that. So let me answer your question. So if surgeons are watching videos, they're doing even on or either three ways, YouTube, which is probably the largest, one of the largest platforms to be able to watch surgeries that's out there. Um, Facebook, or they're doing it through their own videos. They're watching their own videos or they've had their own videos somehow and, and they've kept them. Um, I have a fan, my grandfather used to have tapes of his own videos. He would record or get other videos from other surgeons to watch them on a VCR player. And so until a company is able to input all of that video data and then translate that to an actual, this would actually be called a robotic platform, then they would, I could theoretically see something and they'd have to start small. I do envision a, a scenario in the future where you say, hey, I've performed this part of the procedure the same way over the course of 100 procedures, autopilot this part for me. I could envision that, but, and may, and maybe they're developing that. Yeah, and potentially insights also. One thing they mentioned on their website is insights. So it's just the, the movements within the human body are so much more minute than a movement on a road for a car driving. So the Tesla is looking at lines on the road. It's also using GPS and other things like that to determine its location. Um, but essentially, the Tesla uses computer vision, what we call computer vision. And it's just a huge amount of data, this data you talk about, which is imagery and videos from other cars driving. Yeah. And, built and into James, a model. To use, well, and to use the road analogy, now the, the lines on the road are always differently spaced. They're exactly. driving in all different directions. Yeah. There's no map for them. They could be, but there are there limits could be to two the lines the crossing, body. right? But there are, there are limits to the variations that can exist in the human body. And then maybe those can be slightly calculated with things like BMI, uh, body weight. So maybe, maybe eventually it may be possible to put that data into the computer, into the, the Da Vinci robot, and the Da Vinci robot can make some calculations based on that. And, and also, I just think we don't understand the true potential of computer vision. So it may be possible for the robot to eventually, with a proper AI model, make an incision and then look around and immediately make measurements and, and kind of know, I mean, so what it comes down to is I believe if you can teach a human surgeon to do these things, you can teach an AI model to do them. We're just not there yet with the actual physical robotics part of it. So you could go ahead. You could actually already take all the videos from all the surgeries that were done, let's say over the last 10 years and you can already develop an amazing model that would make a lot of uh, conclusions, insights, things like that. But to actually connect it to physical action is, is tougher, I think.